All right, today we're gonna change the oil on this Coleman CT100U, AKA the Doodlebug. And to do this, you're only gonna need a few things. Um, and that's gonna be a 10 millimeter and a ratchet, of course a funnel, and then oil. You can run any kind of oil you want here, 1030, 1040, 1540, doesn't matter. I'm using what I have left over. Because these motors, all you gotta do is keep the oil clean and they're good to go. Um, this is what I initially changed the first one with, I believe. And then on the other Coleman bikes I have, I used this stuff right here, which is just the base baseline Coleman 1030. Okay, so to get started, you're gonna wanna stack up something on the front of your bike or you can just pick it up and let the oil run out. But your drain plug is actually in the back right here and that is your 10 millimeter. So you're gonna start by removing that 10 millimeter. So after you crack that 10 millimeter, you can go ahead and loosen up your fill plug. This just helps it drain a little faster. You don't have to fully remove it. Um, also make sure that you have common sense, but your drain pan underneath, and this is probably going to make a mess. I did run the bike, rode it up here to the shop. And as you see, it doesn't even look too horrible coming out. Um, this is only the second oil change in this thing. First one was the initial break-in, did like two, three hours on the bike, and then changed the oil. So this one has about 20 or so hours, 20 to 25. But doesn't look too bad, even for these little air-cooled engines. So it's already done draining, just dripping off the rail. These things only hold like 0.4 quarts of oil. So not a lot of oil, which is why it's pretty easy to change out and pretty pertinent that you change them out. Um, helps these things run a lot longer. So now you're just gonna put the drain bolt back in, tighten it back up, and then clean off the surfaces. And then we'll go ahead and start adding oil. One thing when you're tightening up this drain bolt is to not over tighten it. Um, you will strip it out if you crank it down real hard. It's not gonna go anywhere. Just put it on top of the ratchet and then call right, so it good. got the funnel in, we're about to fill it up. Um, important thing that a lot of the other mini bikes don't have is this one actually has a dipstick. So it has your high and low. So like I said, it's 0.4 quarts of oil. So less than half a quart of oil. And you're gonna wanna make sure you don't overfill. Um, another rule of thumb is the way this set up is that pretty much if you get to the bottom of the threads on here, then the oil level will be fine. But since you have a dipstick, go ahead and use it and uh, check your oil, make sure you're on point. So there's only like just under a quart of oil in here. So we're gonna put all of it a separate little bit in, and then we're gonna go ahead and check it with a dipstick. Make sure you- all right. So after you've filled your oil up, go ahead and clean all your surfaces up. Um, tighten your plug, your fill plug back up, and then go ahead and give it a start. All right, so that, got, that wraps up the oil change for the Coleman Doodlebug or CTU-100U. Um, like I said, these things aren't picky with oil. Run any kind of cheap oil, as long as the weight's within the, you know, the specs of the guide, which is 1030, 1540, anything in that range. Uh, they're not picky, but it will help your bike last a lot longer, just doing simple maintenance, and literally it takes three minutes to do this. So, hope this helps. If you have any questions, just drop them below.